Hi everybody! I'm back to do another tutorial. Um, I'm going to be doing a no another um, negative space pour. Seems the other one turned out so nicely. Here it is. It's uh, really turned out good. I really like the um, the house paint that I used. Uh, I've never used it before and I just love the texture on it. So I'm going to do it again. <laughs> um, okay, so the house paint that I'm using, I've got a quite, quite a bit here. Um, it's pretty thick actually. I might have to water it down a little bit more. Uh, it's a mismatched paint that I picked up at the um, paint store and it's Cloverdale Premium Super Eggshell White and it's actually it's like a beigey color of well it's an eggshell it's definitely an eggshell but uh, there it is Oop. Um, and so that's my white I've actually got quite a few colors here that I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to use my black that I've already got mixed up. And that's my Craftsmart Black Acrylic Paint. That's my go-to black. Uh, and then I'm going to use... Um, I guess I should have brought my glasses down so I could see. <laughs> Oh, anyway, uh, Deco Art in Tuscan Red. Oh, hope you can see that. Um, and uh, I'll start on this side. I'm going to use Folk Art Color Shift in Aqua Flash. This stuff is brand, it's a brand new um, line from folk art that is just taken off. It's uh, gorgeous, co gorgeous colors that um, they have like two-tone colors. Yeah, they're just gorgeous. Anyway, um, Deco Art Metallics in Crystal Green. Uh, then I'm going to use the Vivid Ultra Metallic in Autumn Leaf. I'm going to use Primary Elements. This one is Ginger Peach. Can you even see that? It's like, I can't tell because it's um, kind of dark. So that color is going to be like that. Well, it actually... I, I don't think it's going to matter if I show you the color or not because the color on the camera and the color in the, um, on the actual canvas is going to be completely different. Uh, I got to get a. I'm going to. I think I'm going to start using my GoPro and see if the color difference is better on there. I mean, I got it for Christmas. I might as well use it, right? <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to use Primary Elements Sunburst. Uh, there we go. And the last color I'm going to use is the primary elements in olive vine. Oop. Okay, so let me get this stuff out of the way now. And uh, I'll get this all cleaned up and then we'll start. sequence. 
Oh, and I mixed these with um, Flood Flow Troll water and uh, a little bit of silicone. I haven't used far out colors like this, like <laughs> totally on different sides of the color spectrum before. I'm not usually a fan of doing that, but uh, feeling a little psychedelic today. Always a surprise. Sometimes good surprise, sometimes not. <laughs> I actually have been pretty lucky. I haven't had a whole lot of blunders. Could just be one of them. <laughs> Don't know why I picked these colors. I guess it's because we're winding down the summer and we're going to be getting into fall soon. And uh, these are all kind of fall colors. just put a little bit of weight in it. Okay. Oh, um, and then my background is a wood panel, a wood earnest, uh, artist, earnest. <laughs> wow. Okay, words. <laughs> Um, artist panel <laughs> in a 12 by 16. That's uh, 30 by 8 centimeters by 40.7 centimeters. <clears throat> All right, now. Oops. I'm going to put a little bit of white in the middle. First off, okay. All right. There we go. Spread the white around.
colors are already starting to come out a little bit. Alrighty, so there we go. These are some cool colors. Wow. Holy. Very dragon-esque. Which is kind of appropriate because Game of Thrones just came back on. <laughs> Here we go. So much for doing the uh, negative space, but <laughs> oh, I love how this red came out. That's really neat. isn't quite level. There we go. Ah, I just got paint on my face. <laughs> of course. Wow. Holy cells. That just looks awesome. Very cool. Okay, now I'll torch it. I think I'm just going to torch this side because it's already got a lot of cells on it. I'm kind of liking the fact that this side doesn't. Well, it's got cells, but not white cells. So. Trying to pull some of this red down more. Now 
the red starting to come up in here now. <clears throat> Very cool. like the, all the um, color shift blue came up there too which is very cool it gives it a very um, yeah like a dragon kind of look to it okay I don't have my glasses on so I can't see that close <laughs> but uh, hopefully hopefully you guys can see what this looks like. Try and keep the glare off it. It's almost peacock colors. It doesn't come up that way on the camera, but it is like this all in here, it's all that beautiful deep peacock teal color. Um, And this actually looks brown on camera, but it's not. I wonder if I turned the light off, if that would help any. Hang on. Oops. Well, does that help any? No, nope, still looks brown. <laughs> I can't believe the difference in color on this camera. Ugh. I'm gonna on the next video I do, I think I'm gonna try my GoPro and see if it makes a, a difference because I'm not liking this. I really want you guys to see the actual colors. But I'll take some pictures and put it at the end of this video, just so you can see. Okay. So, um, no, no, that's not even helping. Ah, that really bugs me. Oh, okay. So there you have it. Um, it's pretty cool. Got to admit. See, this was this is what happens when I go outside the box of my normal likes. Um, <laughs> it actually turns out, and I go, "Wow, <laughs> I should have done this before." So, anyways, okay. So there you have it. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like and share and don't forget to click on that little um, bell that's beside the share button so that you don't miss any of the videos that come up. I'm, I do like a video a day, sometimes two, and I get them up for you guys. And if you guys have anything that you want to see, let me know. Uh, and I will try to get it done for you within a day or two. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I will chat with you guys later. Bye!